Hey there, today I will be greasing the Dexter axle on my Casita camper. We're gonna uh, take the dust cover off today, take the inside dust cover off, and grease it. It's pretty simple. Um, I got the trailer off the ground, so you can see I can spin the wheel freely. Got the back jack stand down. I have a front jack stand. And uh, yeah, I got my tools here, so some paper towel. See, I'm wearing some gloves just to help protect from the, all the grease I'm sure I'm gonna make. Uh, flathead screwdrivers, grease gun, and I'll show you what I'll use this for. Okay, first things first, so it's uh, off the ground on jack stands. I'm going to peel this thing off, so sometimes it's a little tricky. I try to find where the, where the uh, flathead will actually insert fully. Every like centimeter or so or half an inch, you can get that thing right in. So there's little spots that you'll hit, Does that makes sense, or if you keep moving over it'll go in and it's easier to pop it out. Easy to break these things but they're also cheap to replace. Next thing we take the rubber dust cover out, so you see that you just peel it full of grease which is good. Um, the grease actually looks pretty clean still, still gonna uh, re-grease the axle. Um, yeah, take that out We'll clean that out after. And so now we've got it wide open. So you can see the grease actually looks very clean in there. But again, uh, it takes 10 minutes to do this, so I might as well redo it every year, whether it looks clean or not. So one thing I like to do is insert this in. It goes in pretty simple. Uh, I'll rip some of it off, so I don't need all that. But it helps protect, you know, as you're greasing, if you can maybe use this to drip it onto. Um, I do try to scrape out grease with this. As, as you're pushing it through, the old grease is coming out. I try to take it out, wipe it out, and uh, keep greasing until you see the fresh stuff coming through. All right, so I got my grease gun loaded. If you don't know how to load a grease gun, um, lots of YouTube videos on that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So yeah, the Zerk fitting is inside of here. Push on until it kind of clicks a little bit. And I'm gonna start pumping. And so I'm gonna pump, if you can see that in there, it's hard. It's, it's almost like the grease is growing. It's coming through. I'm gonna basically uh, keep pumping until it fills up like it has. Then I'm gonna take this off and scrape out what I can and then do it all over again for probably about three or four times. So this job is pretty messy. Um, you gotta be careful if you're wearing for good clothes or even pulling the uh, grease gun back off. You know, I'm gonna pull hard, but you can see I just got, yeah, just got it everywhere. So uh, put that there. I'll take some more paper towel and I will just clean this stuff out. It looks, my, my axle, we, we didn't, we did a lot of trips last year, but they were all pretty close to home. So we didn't, maybe we put on 2,000 kilometers at the most, I guess. What is that in miles? I can't even tell you. Um, yeah, so we didn't, we didn't put a lot on. But I want this thing to last, so. Um, I guess I didn't spin the wheel as I was greasing, so the next, uh, the next set here, yeah. Man, this grease looks clean. I'm not even, I'll do it just to do it, but. It almost looks like the same grease that I'm pumping in. Way too clean. Oh well. Okay. So, uh, push it back in. I'll try to remember to spin the wheel this time. So, we start pumping. I'm just starting to spin it slowly. Yeah, it... I'm squeezing... I'm probably, I'm probably putting 10 pumps at least in. Oh, yeah, so I try to stop it so that this uh, cardboard, you know, insert is in a good spot so when I drip any off, it won't get uh, get it all over the inside of the hub. Jeez. Getting that off sometimes is tricky. Because it gets greasy, it's hard to pull. Kind of wiggle it. I have busted Zurich fittings off before. Yeah, this is so clean. 
Let's see, I'll do one more, and I'm going to call it good. Um, it's almost a waste of grease, but again, you want these trailers to last, you want the axle to last, you might as well treat them well for the time it takes and for the $10 of uh, grease. Um, one thing I don't know enough about is once I put my last little bit in here, do I clean out the excess grease? Comment below if you think it should be just cleaned out or if it'll make a mess or if I should leave it in, it only helps. Um, I got a feeling if I clean it out, it'll be fine. The excess. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Hell look good. I did the other side already, and that was definitely uh, pretty dark, so it makes me wonder why this side isn't as uh, as dirty. Oh well. Okay, I can see it's coming through again, filled up. It's almost like it's growing, expanding. It's not. <clears throat> Last one here, I'll keep this one for the for next year. My little grease. Yeah. Well at least I know it's full and uh, we're good to go. This summer we're putting some miles on. So, I want to make sure this camper is ready to go through the mountains and into, into BC. Okay, so I'll pull this little piece out, if you can see that. It definitely saves a little bit. I can see there's quite a bit of grease in there still. Um, wipe it out the best you can. It's nice not to have this stuff dripping, or as you're driving, going all over your rim. Stick that in there and just give it a nice wipe. Probably gonna do that five times. Another thing that should be done pretty regularly, like I, I would only do it for me once a year, but uh, the Dexter recommends a little more than that, is to check your brakes. And these are manually adjusted brakes on these axles. So behind the wheel, there's a little hole in the, uh, I don't know what you call that, the other side of the wheel, which you can adjust the brake. And you use a flathead screwdriver to adjust the screw. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit too. The little dust cover. Again, not completely necessary, but. Okay, that's going to go back in, so the rubber dust seal, these things, I've never seen, mine have stayed soft, I've heard some people say they harden up and they've actually uh, cracked or broke, these are cheap, um, there, done, ready to go, thanks for watching, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or any comments, let me know in the comments, we'll talk to you later.